Okay, this time what we're going to do is change the cartridge on uh, an Aqualeezer shower. Now, although that the, the knobs and the front side of the shower looks, can look very different, it's just that Aqualeezer over the years have made different knobs just to keep the, the, the front of the shower looking modern. However, behind the knobs, it's exactly the same it was, I think, from about the mid-80s. So, first of all, you've got to take the front knob off. Most of the knobs in Aqualeezer showers just pull off, like so. With the exception of this knob, uh, which is a, an insert in here, and there's a screw behind the insert in, in this part of the knob. So if you've got this knob with the scallops at the side, be ready for a screw being behind the centre. Now, when I said this pulls off, perhaps I'm lying a bit. Sometimes they're a lot more difficult than just pulling off. What you may have to do is get a couple of screwdrivers in the side here to lever it forward. So, what I've also done on this occasion is that this is a um, this is a recessed valve and I've mounted it on the surface just to make it easier to see. So if it was recessed this cover would come off and you would see what's behind the valve. And as I said the first thing you need to do is to remove the on off knob which just pulls forward. Then we come to the temperature control lever. As with the knobs, there are various temperature control levers that have been used over the years, but they are always just retained by four screws. And these are um, posi drive screws, and so they come out fairly easily. And there goes the temperature lever. We now come to the cartridge itself. Um, there are a number of cartridges, they all look the same, but they are all slightly different in that they have different coloured rings on the front. There's, um, well, pink and grey, they're the most common ones. There's blue and white and green. However, um, below this video, there's going to be an explanation of which cartridges do which. But in the main, the grey does for most things and the pink for combination boilers. You can convert the grey using a, an adapter like this, but um, the, uh, the explanation should be below this video. And so the next thing to do is to actually remove the cartridge itself, which is fairly straightforward. You can use a flat screwdriver, flat bladed screwdriver, if you need a fairly hefty one. However, the screws, um, for all but the earliest valves, have a Torx T25 bit, so what you need is a, a screwdriver that takes a Torx bit with a T25 bit in the end, and it's really just a case of unscrewing the cartridge. It's always good policy to unscrew the cartridge equally, so you're un you unload, unload it off the valve um, roughly equally. the cartridge. Now at the back of the cartridge, I'll explain this while I'm unscrewing it, at the back of the cartridge there's an o-ring. This o-ring is particularly difficult to get into and um, that it's not always necessary to replace this o-ring. What you need to do is that, um, well I can show you that the only way to get it out is to use something like a crochet hook or something pointy that you can stab the old one with and just hook onto it and get it out. So here we go, this is a cartridge coming out, there we go, one old cartridge. So we'll pop that one down there, and right at the back, I don't know if the camera can see it, there's a, there is a, an o-ring in there, and as I said, it's not necessary to replace that all the time, but to get the old one out, you need something like this, something like a point that you can dig into the old o-ring and hook it out. When it comes to replacing it, what your best plan is, is to balance it on the end of a flat bladed screwdriver and then push it in and enter it into the groove. Um, it's not always necessary as I say, so I'm not going to do that because it is fairly tricky. But if there's any problem with the cartridge at all and you phone back and say that the cartridge isn't working properly, the first question you'll be asked is, did you replace that o-ring? And if you haven't replaced that o-ring, really you need to replace that before we can take any, any, um, any parts back. But as I say, you normally don't need to replace it. So, if you've replaced the o-ring, that's fine. All we need to do then is pop the cartridge back into place. Um, and that's, once again, fairly straightforward. What you've got to watch is that the um, it needs a new gasket put on it. 
and hang on just to get the gasket here, take this one off. There's a gasket, a new gasket comes with the uh, cartridge when it's new and you'll see it has a fairly coarse filter in it and there's a slot in the cartridge that the, this all matches up with and so the easiest way is just to place it over the slot and then slip a couple of screws through just to keep it in place and then just make sure the gasket's in the right place and offer it up to the valve and then screw the whole thing back together Now, just before I do that, in some of the very old uh, valve bodies, there's a, the, the, the screws were machine screws and there's brass inserts insert, inserted into the bodies, into the body, and so the, the screws that come now are fairly coarse self-tappers, and this is the original brass machine screws. So you just reuse them if you have the brass ones. The thing to be careful of is not over tightening them. The brass inserts that are in the body can be very fragile, and if you over tighten them, you'll split the uh, you'll split the brass insert, and you'll need to repl then replace the body. There is no repair that you're able to do if the brass inserts split. So I'll carry on and screw the rest of this back into place. Now as you can see, when I screwed this back, I loaded it in, I loaded the screws up fairly evenly so that the, the cartridge was getting draw, drawn back into place, place fairly carefully. Um, really the next thing to do is to check that the, you get the temperature set in the right place. So when you put the temperature control lever back on, that it's set in the middle. And the thing to check for that is there's a series of holes down here. Now these run from 12 o'clock to 6 o'clock. When they're in this position, if you mount the uh, temperature control lever on, then the temperature control lever will be in the middle position. So the, uh, we really just need to screw this back on. These holes are for temperature limit pins. In the instructions that come with the cartridge, you'll see the you know how to set these up. So if you want to set the shower so that it won't go above a certain temperature, you pop a pin in these holes. This is all very fairly well explained in the. Uh, in, in the booklet that comes with the cartridge. So it just gives a pop in this back together. And then finally putting the uh, the temp the, the on off knob on. But before we do that, the, what actually holds the on off knob in place is a very small O ring. There's a groove in the spindle in the end of the cartridge, and you just really got to fit the O ring onto this. And it's that that holds the um, holds the temperature control knob in place. It just slips on like that, and um, push the control knob back on. And that's your service to show the temperature controls in the mid position. And just turn this to the off position. Oh, make sure this is the right way up. Mm -hmm. 